Hello everyone, anyone, and welcome back to Hard West. Uh, previously, I need my revenge because it was a supposed to lose fight that took a couple extra tries, and I took it. It's cool, I got a wanted report on my life. Warren's Adventures to the West. So there's lots of things. We know that the Jidmel, I can have talk to Murray about the Mass Men, the Gunschmief Shop, um, and I picked up every card, he, I put every card I had on. I have a mangled foot? How'd that happen? How'd that happen? Whatever. Um, so, hey, if I still welcome in the church, is the church still available? The church is, oh, this is a different area. I'm, I'm like looking in the same area. I don't know why, I guess I traveled to some other part of town. Uh, you're a fate trader, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. The elixir trader, uh, Indian camp. And yeah, so yeah, I just get a mangled foot for a while because I can't, uh, couldn't really afford to do too much anyway. So let's, uh, let's follow with the questing reward or the quest and just go to the gun, gin mill. See what happens, Warren. You arrived at Old Murray's gin mill to find the place ruined. Deserted and covered in crates. The upper floor office remained suspended. What it looked like would fall apart in a second. You could grab one thing and get out. But should you get the money for the safe or the curious glass item for the desk? Uh, I'm going to take the glass item. As you grab the item from the desk, the floor lurched and a low rumble heralded the office imminent its demise. You leap from the room as it collapses into the rubble on the floor below. You inspected the loot. It turned out to be just a strange old monocle. Okay, Murray was not there. What was this cool monocle, though? Hey, sweet, huzzah! Six shooter and that. Huh? Is my mouse going insane? Oh no, that's right. I know what happened. One second. <laughs> what happens is that I, it's the controller, uh, is on, and um, it's uh, sometimes you know when you have a controller. I uh, just like old school it's like on the ground so it starts moving around <laughs> and I'm like whoops what am I doing here um, but yeah that was nice that was a fun thing to do maybe he's gonna want it back be like I got your eyeglass old man what does what does he want oh the gunsmith shop I can ask the locals over at the gunsmith shop gunsmiths sorry stop talking like that you enter the shop a dozen suspicious eyes burn holes in you a giant of a man presented himself as Mr. Darius, the proprietor. He wanted to know if you were personally invited to this shop in his place. Uh, no. You asked uh, Doris if you knew anything about what happened to uh, Murray's Shinmo. The old gunsmith explained that if there's one thing that bothered the masked man, it was losing money. He started getting suspicious Murray was skimming money, and when the masked man got suspicious, he didn't waste time wondering what to do. Mrs. Darius asks if you need anything else. Well, let's browse your wares. Uh, whoa. Okay, now we're starting to get guns that are different. About darn time. So, it's, it's a that's a one-shot, one-and-done gun. But, uh, it does a lot of damage even if they're in half cover. Uh, that was a classic that Paul used for a while. Volcano pistol. For those who value caliber capacity over maneuverability. It's short. Got it. And the elephant rifle, which is kind of one of my favorites, just because it's got super long range, although I bet you there'd be a better one. And this just utterly ridiculous looking gun. Yeah, I don't know about any of this. I'm good right now. Uh, I could actually, before I go, yeah, awesome, let's, this I will not use. I d d do not care for it. You may have it. And I want, well, I guess I could get something in its place. I mean, it's got a lot of damage, gives me minus aim, and it can only fire once. I could pick up a Western rifle in its place, or let's just take the cash for now, we'll just worry about it later. And trade. Yeah, because I don't want to use that gun. That gun is a pain in the arse. I, I don't know what the Fate Trader is, so I'm walking over to it real quick. Came across a shady character peculiar clothing by Bizarre Marcus Stan. He said he has trinkets that only reveal himself to you when you deserve so. He browsed exceptional wares. Ah, so these are things that are available. I can only buy once, it looks like. But that repeater rifle that was 
very nice from before I can pick up uh, because I unlocked it from the last time. So we'll do that. I mean, I was selling that other gun anyway. So I'd rather have that gun than just a plain old six shooter because the six shooter doesn't have too much. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's a classic gun. It's, uh, and I, I suppose pick up the relic wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I'll worry about that next time. What we got here, here. Elixir Trader, let's go just the Indian camp. Let's continue with our mission. <clears throat> the natives lived in a small and fertile land that had been given to them by the occupying forces. Quotation marks. They were accustomed to trading with pale faces, though most not as pale as you. So, I could seek out healing, can I? Uh, yeah. I sought healing. The natives could put the gunslinger back together with their rituals. Herbal medicine at the prices, right? Yeah. Like, get rid of my mangled foot, will ya? Thanks. Shaman chanted, using a mix of herbs and oils. Infected cure. Sweet. Still have some money. Um, trading with the pale faces. I acquired about, uh, old man Murray. See, this is... This is not cool, guys, okay? They couldn't handle the alcohol. Anyway. The natives knew many old men, but no Murrays. They said that the only white folk around these parts were the masked men's thugs who poached from the nearby forests. Okay. So. Uh, let's just see what they have. Ah, uh, yes. So you can equip that, I suppose. Or maybe just use it to increase your maximum luck for a battle. Not a terrible idea. Coyote figurine, Dreamcatcher. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, there's interesting things you can get there. Um, let's check out the poaching grounds. The forest, an Indian country teamed with game, more than the natives could ever catch, let alone eat, which made them easy pickings for poachers. The ground was riddled with their traps, and lucky day you could disarm them or steal the bait. On a bad day, you'd catch a broken finger, gashed hand, or worse. Maybe simpler just to stake out the traps and wait for the poachers to show. Nothing like stealing from a thief. Yeah, let's try to ambush the, the poachers. Awesome. Finally, the poachers showed. You took them out like clockwork, except for one. At first, he refused to talk, but some creative pain management took care of that. One of them knew he was serious. Once he knew he was serious, he told the old man Murray was alive. He had but been captured. He said the masked man had left him with the rednecks living in Ranchero Rojo. Then passed, paused for effect. Seeing your puzzle face, the poacher said solemnly, They eat people. Old man Murray was taken to Cannibal Farm. If you could save him, maybe that tough old bird could prove to be useful. And Kid. even if you failed, mm. you'd still put a dent in the masked man's business. See, talking in that voice, giving this low thing, you could say anything. How much is that doggy in the window? I wonder how much he could be. See what I mean? It's, anything you say sounds cool. Uh, you killed Burn and terrorized, but you couldn't find much more information about the masked men. Seems he feared you more than that. Time to fix that. As you traveled down the lonesome road, a trail of smoke and ruins in your wake, an old man stepped onto the road ahead. You knew you were going after the masked man. Brandon Scott. He said the masked man had taken something he was after. He didn't approve of your methods, but he appreciated your effectiveness. He wanted to join you. Yeah, come on, board. Brandon Scott, join the posse. You soon learned the old man was the meanest cuss this region had ever seen. Until you showed up, that is. Okay. I guess I, I thought I was going to have to battle somebody, but turns out, welcome to the posse, old man so-and-so, with your chain rifle. Hello. And your Douglas Duster special. When you pack this, any fool who draws you dooms their own mortal fate. Allows two shots per turn for five damage, but... Wait, what? It's got one ammunition, though. So I guess I can fire that first and then their weapon. Okay. Um, cool. And he's got a lucky coin. Loses some of his max HP, but gives him more max luck. Not in love with that item, but seeing as I don't have anything else to replace with, I'll just leave it on him. Um, okay. So attack the cannibal farm. So apparently... This was just this this isn't the old man Murray. This is just some other dude. Alright, other dude. It is uh time to go what's the water tower? See look, I get all distracted by everything. What are you? 
War Tower was Lynchpin, the cannibal farm. You could have spilled the water, damaged the mass man property, or could have poisoned the water to weaken the cannibals. So we need a poison value for that. Uh, let's... Can I just leave and have it still be here? Let's find out. I can. Let's go see if I can... Can I afford... Jeremiah Benjamin Baker sold all kind of cures. Balm's no ointments. If the smell was believed, most of the variation of bottled urine. Uh, yeah, talk about the cannibal farm. Shop here revealed the van here sometimes came in looking for meat tenderizer and exotic herbs. If you want, he could send you a letter introduction telling you you were one of them. That way you could approach them without raising the alarm. Every favor has a price, though. You only do it if you help test his new potion. Uh, let's shop. Do you have any poison? Got any poison? Poison? Does anybody say poison? Uh, stimulants, vitality, revealer. Okay, there's lots of cool stuff you can do. I mean, I do like the variety that this provides. The bottle of liquor wasn't the same as a bottle of whiskey, right? Um, I don't know. I'm reluctant to spend money until I can make any money. Um,. I'm just gonna you're zooming around the map. Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, it was a bottle of liquor. Yeah. All right. Let's do the moral out, moral upstanding thing, and uh, buy some whiskey from uh, this guy here. We'll trade him a six shooter for it that we don't need anymore. That will maybe make a little money. Yep. And give me the rest of your cash. Bottle of liquor to the natives. This is morally irresponsible. Okay. Uh, Sapphire Awful Bottle Whiskey to share. Alright. He sat there for hours, drinking and smoking with the natives. Around midnight, the real stories began to unwind. You heard them tell of a sinister deity leaving the forest and a totem representing it not far away. Continue. Cool. Okay. Uh, left the encampment. So to the Indian totem. Because I opened it up, might as well, right? Beneath the totem lay a hoard of gold, precious stones and jewelry, a screaming eagle carved in the totem spoke. Possessed by a spiteful deity, whispered if you wanted one of your companions... It, it wanted one of your companions and that it would reward you greatly. Uh, let's just lead... Leave the totem? Because that's... I mean, that's cool and all. I mean, I just met Brandon. But that seems like kind of a dick thing to do. Uh, I don't really want to try out this guy's valuables here. Let's just damage the masked man's property because screw him, right? We don't have any poison vials. Uh, yeah, screw it. He smiled as the contents of the tower spilled out and quickly disappeared in the parched earth. This wouldn't be enough to prevent the masked men from working, but their hard times would be even harder. So, was that enough? I don't know if that count as ravaging. To the cannibal farm! The farm looked innocent enough, but she knew better than the trust appearances. The cannibal had heavy sentries at the entrance. He hadn't seen a trace of Murray yet. Chances are they had him locked away somewhere. He decided to go in guns blazing. Yippee ki -yay. Okay, um, we only have three cards. Shadow Salve is awesome, but it's better in Nightmares. Would it be better to mess with them? I could do this to make up for that lucky coins bullshit. Um, and yeah, so that way he has, he still has 6 HP and doesn't get killed in one hit. And it still gives me the opportunity to do Shriek if I wanted to. Let's do it. Proceed to combat. Cannibal's old man Murray. Whether he lived or not, they would die. Time was of the essence. Murray was bleeding and would be served for dinner by sundown. You could either kill the cannibals before he died or free him and patch him up enough to survive the fight. Also, a part of you was curious what the fuss about human flesh was anyway. Oh, death. That just seems morally reprehensible. Uh, is the star feast on the meat to regain strength? Oh, Lord, if you're gonna... Well, if you're gonna go somewhere, you might as well go... Way overboard. How do I know... How would I know he's bleeding from here anyway? That's the question. 
Yeah, there's like no cover here. Let's we'll see what we got here. Aha! He's in the way. There we go. Now we have ourselves artery shot, you say. Hitting an enemy, if they walk five steps during the next turn, they'll receive eight damage. Interesting. 39%, no line of fire. Switch to the other gun, 44%. It just doesn't seem like it's that good of a choice, so Let's see where our chances are to hit. I think I'd rather kill this guy over here. Is there any way to get a good beat on him? Yeah, there we go. This should be close enough. That's the guy I'm trying to shoot. It's my crappy... Uh, this is the way to go. These guns don't have pretty, very good accuracy. But... Oh! Okay. Oops, I had the wrong one targeted. It's on me. There's a few of them here. Mmm, you dick. Now, that requires 80 luck, which I definitely do not have anymore. Uh, okay, since I'm in some trouble anyways, um, let's go back here. Huh. Why is my chance to hit so goddamn terrible? I mean, he's got half cover, but it still doesn't seem like that would be a reason. Whatever. Just try it. Well. I never. Now, even if I could cast it. Oh, it doesn't even tell me what it does now. I can leave old man... Not old man Murray, but whoever his, his stupid name is. If I leave him there, he's just toast. 61% chance I can go like this. He's probably it's probably still gonna be considered a flank. But I can just go here and start eating uh human flesh. <laughs> How many times are you gonna say that in a, in a given day, right? Uh, apparently a couple times. Yeah, screw it. Let's go this way and try to save my compatriot. If not, it's been nice knowing you. Yeah. Better shot with this. That's the same. Get him. Got him. Alright, so. I'm pretty sure that means. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Whoa! Minus seven and mangled foot. Yay. So, going in guns blazing is not the best way to go about business, but I'm kind of stuck with that decision now, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll restart, and we'll try a different tact, which will probably be... Time was of the essence. Yeah. It was bleeding, and would be served for dinner by sundown. You could either kill the cannibals before he died, or free him and patch him up enough to survive the fight. Also, Please. part of you was curious what the fuss about human flesh was anyway. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, funny enough, so Shriek does three damage in the enemies in your line of sight. Does it mean anybody that I can actually see? And it wouldn't even kill anybody anyway, so it's kind of like whatever. I'll take the same shot as before. And that's just a long one. It's just these two. That's all I can see from here. So I'd have to change my location somewhere else. 
have less cover, but maybe a shot at killing the guy that I've already hit. Nah, that's terrible otherwise. That was a bad choice. Although he's got, I mean, it, it's it, they're crap chances, but I could hit somebody for a long ways with crap damage. Or crap chance to hit guys who are a long ways away. Although, it seems like it'd be better if I just took the terrible shot with this and see if it happened. Didn't hit, right? Yeah. Alright, let's see what they got for me. And we'll just work our way through this area. Did this guy go in there already? That's so many cannibals, man. So it's like if you don't do this the other way, I mean, they weren't kidding about hard. Just you, yourself, and this. They just can't, we can't afford to get the flank going. Okay, so there's some better better spots here. Okay. Yeah, they make it so that that's tough. Uh, the way I like to go about this is going this way, Mr. Scott, and you have this. What are you talking about? He's right bloody there. What? Why? Why? I don't understand that. Reckoning. I mean, why would this be? He looks like I got a wonderful flank going here. Now I'm just in a terrible position. I can't do squat. And he's going to flank me next turn. Well, that's a real... That put a bird in my saddle. I don't know what to say about it. Um, so we have to take him out with... Uh, Warren here, and there's no way to get into decent cover otherwise. I get, I mean, there's a couple options. I suppose I can just run like crazy around and try to free Murray before there comes trouble. Um, playing cat and mouse with Mr. Scott uh, as I go. I think that's the way I'm going to choose. And I gotta make sure he can't just come up on me and shoot me. Regardless, he's gonna be able to, isn't he? He probably won't be able to get inside here. Okay. What hap what happened this time? Did <laughs> Did he just can I just not see anybody? Is that why? Because it seems like that turn didn't even matter. Um, this is all part of the same turn here. They're shooting him from a long ways for one damage. Who gives a damn? for that sort of damage. Pardon me. Alright. Well, if I move out here, I sure as hell better kill that guy. Oh. Oops. Okay. Well, that makes more sense now, at least. So we have to... I mean, really, I don't... I, I'm just... It's, some of it's just like, I'm just not entirely sure if there's just not broken mechanics in this game. Sometimes when I wonder about this, like when they just don't take turns and weird shit like that. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I mean, the cat and mouse is working, sort of. See anybody from here? I can, and he's in a great place to be shot in the face. Can I do more damage with this? Yeah, shotgun, go. Boom. Okay, cool. We got Murray out. I wonder if I'm not gonna actually be able to do this because I can't quote patch him up because I don't have any healing. The woodshed smelled of garlic and rosemary. 
seasoned gunslinger just got a whole new meaning. Ew. That's gross. So now we get to kill everybody. Is there anybody I can see that 60% chance for one damage through a wall somehow? Let's let's check if our good our guy just came here. He's got a standard six shooter, and he's got some time. I want him to be safe because he's got like no health. How far can he move? Can he just not move very far at all? Guess not. Let's go this way and see what we can do. What happens? Mr. Anderson. Well, he's no longer going to die, so we have all the time in the world. I think we're going to say balls to this and get out of here. And we'll meet up. And, oh yeah, one of those times where I can't do anything because there's no... Oh, that's right, there is a wait option. Backspace. Okay. What? I'll take the 69% chance to shoot somebody. <laughs> Shotguns! Uh, magically shoot people from across the way. Because... Why not? Let me screw it. Okay. You, sir, could be in danger. Let's get you out this way. And there's nobody you can shoot. Screw it. Let's get you out this way. Okay. So, this gun needs to reload. And I can't shoot anybody anyway. Screw it. Reload both guns. And let's see if I can get any of these folks to come to me while I get a better... Just... I mean, this looks like some people are approaching over here. Don't think he's going to reach me in this turn. So, but he'll get close in, closer, I do believe. So we're going to wait. And, see, I just don't get that. It's aim for me to begin. Um, what do we got over here? Options. So we have 100% chance. See, we got to get a gun that does five because on hard, it's just like, well, 69% chance of range to instant kill him or one to just piss him off. Take the one to instant kill him. Um... Yeah. She's upstairs, isn't she? So I'll have to wait until I can get upstairs, like so, or not. We'll wait on our turn. Try to do it on the same one. Oh, wow. I just ended a turn for everybody, not thinking about it. And nobody moves. I don't bloody get it. I just don't. I must be missing something. That's a problem. That's a big problem. I think we might have to 100% chance shot to kill him. Let's do it. There we go. Hopefully that'll piss him off enough to get their attention. Let's move up here. Climb up. I bet you this whole mission will be for naught because old man Murray's gonna get shot in the thorax or whatever. 50-50 shot. She's got six health. She's she is the huntress. We'll take the shot with the 47. We can't kill him either way. Uh, all right, what's she? She's climbing down. Is she going to eat some more meat or something? 
Okay. Oops. <laughs> ah, mistakes. I've made a few. Yeah. Fanning. Boom. We got him. Okay, now it's just up to you, Warren G. Hardy, to not get shot and die. He's gonna get shot and die, isn't he? Hmm. Screw it, man. Just get away from the uh, hazardous huntress. See if she follows him. I don't think I'll be able to hit, but play in the safe. And. Move closer. What do we got? Where the hell did she go? I just, I just don't like his health totals. Playing it super safe. But this, I mean, oh, look, there's a guy by the outhouse, you say. Alright, so we gotta be safe here still. Forgot about the outhouse guy. Okay. To the outhouse. Got, oh! Howdy, ma'am. May I borrow a cup of death? <laughs> Oh, that's a great, that's a great joke. I mean, really, it's fun for the whole family. Um, I think she's got a nice flank on me, too. Not really. I don't know what she's doing. I don't think the enemies know what they're doing, honestly. Um, bam. Is the other gun gonna be any better? No. All right. I don't want to put him in danger. I might have to, though. I gotta tell you, history books definitely did not mention the times Warren G. Hardy did all this cool stuff. No, that's a, that's a double move. We don't want a double move right now. I don't think she's gonna come all the way out here to cause trouble. So we'll just reload and wait. The guy with two health will let him be hanging out with two health, not get murdered in one hit. Apparently she just doesn't move. I guess sometimes they just don't take their turns. Maybe I can see her from here. Answer is no. What? Is there another way up out of here? Doesn't look like it? Huh. Well, now you got me all paranoid. Oh! They're just hanging out. Yeah, I don't recall this any times. 69% chance to shoot him through multiple walls and do damage. Do it. Good lord. That's a shotgun. It doesn't make any sense at all. I love it. I don't think he's going to be able to come down here anytime soon. I think the only person who's in any definitive danger is going to be... Um... Oh. No. No. Don't do not tell me he's able to... Oh yeah, that guy. Ow. Doesn't count for that guy. Let's see what our options are first. Be a hundred percent chance to murderize. See you later. See you in hell. Okay. Um. Did she somehow manage up to get up here? All I can think of. 
Where in tarnation did she go? Man, you really got me. Um, okay, so that guy's up there, and he could provide issues. If I move over here, I'll have full cover. I still don't trust it. Let's get fuller cover here. Oh, and there she is. Alright, he's coming down the stairs. Can you see her from here? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with the time honored method of like the of our XCOM brethren, the running gunners. Uh, I really hope this works. <laughs> Will you miss? Yeah, 100% damage. Kabooly! Cannibals sicken me. Okay. Um... Inside the shadow. Probably help. And since he's just too weak, we're just wait here. Here he comes. Yep. I call shenanigans. Fire. Okay. What else we got here? Ooh, I could go all the way here. And fire for fifth almost get him get him, get him. your get swiftness him. would be the tail of the country the cannibals bit the dust and murray's knowledge of the masked man was yours awesome mission completes okay let's see what this has to say after we finish First, you know the depths of your anger. After the fight, you notice a bunch of farmhands hightailing it from the fields. Horseback. Could have easily caught up with them. Uh. Farmhands. Yeah, you know, we gotta, we gotta re retain some of our humanity, you know what I mean? When the dust settled, they climbed the tall windmill and scout the region. From here, you can see a bustly and lively bar in the distance, as well as. A ghost town nearby, just north of the farm. He spied a man dangling from a tree. Grateful for his rescue, Murray told you everything he knew about the masked man. He looked just like the gun shop owner. Intimidation and destruction served you well, but as it became more fearsome, the people you interrogated seemed to know more and more. You're moving up the chain. So the location of the masked man's hideout remained a secret. You heard the story of a demon that once walked the earth of a gang. He amassed countless riches, then retired, hoarding his wealth in his hideout. It was said he was exceptionally dangerous, but if you manage to kill him, all his loot will be yours. Alright, so... Do more damage to the masked man's properties, which... I guess... Did you own the cannibal farm, or I guess he didn't? Whatever. Looks like that's an optional mission, and as we know about optional missions, they kicked my arse the last time. Which might make for fun. Did what's his name join my posse permanently? He did! Does he ha still have two health? Oh, yeah, Gushing Wound is right. Yow. He's not terrible if you can stop him from bleeding. Um, yeah. Good lord. Anyway, he's got every, every problem that could happen to you, I think. I've seen at least. So thank you very much for joining for Hard West, and I will see you in the next one. Please like, it helps out a lot, and sub for more awesomeness. Take care, y'all. See you next time.